OK, I'm joined by uh, Kev Johnson, victorious Lancashire coach, and uh, 48-0 here at Cumbria. Great result. Yeah, cracking result. Um, like I said, we was coming up here. We never, never come over here and left on our, leave ourselves on our laurels. Uh, we respect them. Um, I did go watching them two weeks previous um, and they play, when they played Yorkshire. And they put up a good fight. And I thought to myself, when we go up to York, up to Cumbria, they'll be strong and they'll come at us. Um, but we, we, did, uh, we did what we needed we did to do, like I said. We come out, we, uh, we played our sets and we completed and we scored tries. A little bit of a nervous start, but I think once they got over that after the first ten minutes, you know, they were on front foot really, weren't they? Yeah, massively, yeah. So, we, you know, we put a big set, we said, as soon as we get the ball, kick to them. If we win the toss, kick to them, put them under pressure. And literally within, within the first set, I think it was the third tackle, we, we, we put a big hit and knocked on. And on the second play after that, we scored. We settled us a little bit, but I thought it could also put us in a false percentage of thinking it's going to be easy, which we knew it wouldn't be. But we just said, look, we've got to go back, forget that now, back to nil-nil, we go again. And just keep, keep, keep laying the platform and play off the back of it. As a coach, whilst we could talk of the 48 points, I'm sure you were happy with the nil. Oh, massively. The nil's the big one. Um, obviously, um, two weeks ago, Yorkshire played them and they beat them 46-6. Um, so, the nil is the massive one for us. Uh, and, and, the th- and the fact that we've travelled to, to Cumbria in their own backyard and nilled them. Um, so, that would send Yorkshire a bit of a thinking, thinking that, you know, we've got to... We've got to um, really come on with our A game next week on the 26th. And whilst they didn't get like constant pressure on the line, I think it was more a case of the line speed of the Lancashire side. Yeah, yeah, we did, that's another thing training again. But to be honest, we, we, we've done more patterns of play than defensive. Even in the trial games, the, the line speed in the trials, and these lads have never played with each other before, was immense. And they were in, up, up for it. And for these 20 players to get where they are now, they've gone through some trials, they've gone through, through, through some rugby and actually played physical rugby against each other. So they've knocked each other around a bit. So that, when, that's when you get the trust of each other. So when they go out together as a unit, the camaraderie between them is, is second to none and they want it and they're hungry for it. Uh, as I'm a bit of a newbie coming into Lancashire setup this year, Kev, um, how long have you been in, in, involved in like the 18s? Um, or 17s. For, for, for me being involved with the 17s, I, I was the actual, me and, me and David, uh, who's the um, assistant coach and manager, we've been here from the beginning. We was the first two. Um, and obviously now this is our, I think this is our seventh um, tournament, where basically tri-series, and uh, we've only lost one. Right. So we're, we're on... We set we're, big standards. We set, we set massive standards. And, um, and we actually tell the lads this to put them under pressure because at the end of the day the, at the, this level like I said we had 90 at, tra- at, at the trial game to get down to 20 that's 70 players at the top top, top of the tree at, at, in, in the barely terms um, so we accept we, we, we've got to put that pressure on them and at the end of the day they turn up, a tra- up for a trial and we expect them to play in that trial for a 20 minute trial we expect them to turn them on because when we play a trial series it's not all about consistency it's about getting yourself up for one game because it might only be one game because you might only get a chance to play one game because there's other players there. If you play well, you get you retain your shirt. But on the back of that, you're playing two games. It's not all about consistency. It's what you do, what you can perform under pressure and make the right choice. I'm going to ask a bit of an unfair question here, then, because if you've been involved for all this time, where does this current squad sit with regards to talent and depth? This year, as I must have, really must admit, has been the hardest year. Due because no matter of any of them players who we've got in that squad, the 20 squad. We could take the three lads who's missed out this week, we could pick them up, put them in the squad, and it wouldn't weaken us. Same on the bench. If we did like for like, it doesn't weaken us. So that tells me, and it's a massive pat on the back for the coaches at the Romantic Clubs, that the core skills and the attitude what these lads have got is second to none. And it's a big, massive rap for the, for the actual individual club where they've all come from. And another good thing from that was that I noticed on the bench, you give players a lot of different rules to play within the game where they were slipping in and out of different positions. Yeah, well, that, 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 that comes down to their own, their, their own players. Um, the players can be versatile. You know, uh, we, we, for us, at one point, we had four pivots on the field. So that's for us, and we can play a different DM. Um, and we play, we can play a loose forward at prop, we can play a second row at prop, we can play a proper second row. It doesn't matter to us. Um, we are versatile. Um, like I said, we've got a couple of wingers who were, who were, on, the, who were on the wing who were actually second rowers. So, and you think, well, if they're second rowers, and they're on the wing. And they're on the wing. So that gives us that how, how proud we are, where these players can like, be very versatile. I know I seem like, a, well, I haven't mentioned the 48 points. Let's get that out at out road now. Um, was you happy with that? I suppose from from a clinical point of view, there could have been maybe four, maybe five tries more. Yeah, it could have been. I think you know, that, that's, that's the difference. 
come next week when we play Yorkshire, we can spoil them chances. We've got to take them because our chances will be very few and far between next week. Um, because Yorks will be up for it, they'll be in our faces, they'll put us under a lot of pressure. And that's where this is where next week is a massive game. The lads, some of the lads don't realise that, but they've, en they've enjoyed themselves today. Um, and they realise it's a quick game and we keep telling them this, that's what it's going to be. But on the back of that, next week's massive and it's going to be big, big pressure. And it's how these lads, under pressure, and same in the trial, same in training, we, we put them under pressure to, so they can make the right choice in the right areas of the game. It's another unfair question, I suppose, for me, but did anybody stand out for you today? As a whole, obviously there's, there's one or two, but I would more concentrate on the team. Because from 1 to 17, I'll even, I'll even turn around and say 1 to 20, 1 to 20, the fact is everybody has bought into what we're doing. Everybody knows the players, everybody knows the structure. And at the end of the day, we do have a structure, but we also play and go out there and express yourself. If you see something, go with it, play your gut. If there's talent out there, individual talent, We'll let them exploit and do what they need to do. Just express yourselves. At the end of the day, yeah, there was a couple of good, good individuals points out there. You know, at the end of the day, somebody's going to think, oh yeah, he played really well, and he was the outstanding player because they, they do give man a match away. And I'm glad for me, I don't have to pick ours. So I think the Bale board have picked it, and it was our centre Nico. He scored three tries. Automatically, people when people say he scored three tries, oh he's got a bit man a match. But from one to seventeen. They all played really well. They went on, did the jobs because if the lads in the middle didn't do the job, the lad outside who scored the three tries doesn't get his tries. So, as far as I'm concerned, massive team effort. Okay, uh, and I think you've whetted my appetite for next week against Yorkshire. But just, just in case anybody's wavering, what words are you going to use? Come down, enjoy a good game of young lads' talent on the shore at Wings St Pat's. Um, you won't be disappointed, and I think you'll find that uh, the nerves will be on edge next week when we play Yorkshire. Can't wait.